Hello guys, we are team 2256 participating in Texas Instruments Innovation Challenge 2015. First of all, we would like to thank Texas Instruments for giving us an opportunity to make an interesting project. Our project is titled Intelligent Semi-Autonomous Pothole Detecting Robot with Quick Filling of Asphalt. Basically, potholes are pits produced by wearing or weathering on the rock surface which are terrible and are found everywhere. Potholes are formed when rainwater seeps into cracks caused by heavy traffic. Low temperature makes the water freeze, causing it to expand and deepens the crack, creating more fissures. The roadbed continues to soften and weakens the base support. Small chunks of road breaks off and more cracks appear. Eventually, with continued passage of vehicles, potholes with larger surface areas are formed. Whenever a vehicle passes over a pothole, much of the force is taken by the vehicle frame and suspension system. Tires wear off easily and get punctured. In addition to the damage of steering and suspension system, there are chances that even the electronic components of a vehicle would get damaged. Thousands of rupees have to be spent to repair your vehicle when it gets damaged by pothole. And you can't even avoid the potholes because there are chances that you would probably hit someone passing side by. Traditional method of repairing pothole involves packing the pothole with tar or concrete and leveling manually. Automation will eliminate the need for expensive labor and produce consistent results. Our project involves automatic detection of pothole, filling pothole with asphalt and leveling it. The whole procedure can be done without disturbing the traffic. It is economically viable as well. The components used in this project are MSP430 G2553 microcontroller board, H-bridge, L293D motor driver IC, LVEZ1 ultrasonic sensor module, 7805 voltage regulator, servo motor, DC motor, and a buzzer. Echo on trigger pin of the ultrasonic sensor is connected to pin 1 and 2 of port 2. The four pins used to drive the two motors are connected to 2, 3, 4, 5 of port 1. Servo motor is connected to pin 3 of port 2 and buzzer is connected to pin 1 of port 1. The robot is built on a well furnished aluminium chassis. All the circuit boards are fixed at exact spacings. The motion of the board is coupled with a gear arrangement attached with two bow motors of 150 rpm. The filling part of the prototype contains an asphalt tank whose opening and closing valve is coupled with a servo motor. The positioning of ultrasonic sensor and tank are done at exactly the same level so that the pothole is filled accurately. The ultrasonic sensor continuously scans the surface and gives the distance. As if there is no pothole, the distance is less and now as it is moving forward, the distance is increasing because there is a hole. If there is a pothole, it will be detected and the buzzer will be made on as a sign of indication. The ultrasonic sensor used here can sense the distance up to a range of 256 inches. Things from the ultrasonic sensor are plotted on a graph. Taking time distance along y axis and time along x axis. The peaks in this graph indicates that the distance is more than ground level, that is, there exists a pothole. By taking this as the input, the bow motors are programmed by microcontrollers to stop the movement of the bot, which in turn initiates the movement of servo motor. As this prototype will be implemented as a semi-autonomous vehicle, it indicates the presence of potholes to the driver by giving a buzzer output so that he can hold the vehicle for some time and the system by itself will fill the potholes. As there will be a continuous feedback from the ultrasonic sensor to the microcontroller, when the, whenever the pothole is filled completely, the buzzer buzzes for second time, which indicates the distance has become equal to the ground level and he can restart the vehicle again.